let's dive in. Bonus core. Our first exercise is going to be a quadruped hold. So you're gonna come onto all fours, keeping your belly button nice and tight, pressing up, <laughs> my husband's out here with me, <laughs> pressing up off of your hands and knees, holding it here. Now you're gonna squeeze your bum, keep your belly button pulled in tight, and we're literally holding. If you want to add a little bit of extra, or quite a bit of extra, you're gonna tap your shoulder one to the other without letting your hips shift all over the place. So notice how my knees are only about an inch off the ground. Belly button is tight. Great work, holding it strong. If you need to take a rest to your knees, go for it. You can also press up. You can press exhale up off your knees. Inhale down for a little bit less intense version or you're still holding, you're holding it strong. Come on team, hold it, pull that belly button in. Press up through the hands, squeeze the bum. Yes, you can do it three, woo, two, and one. All right team, we're going into a front plank. So knife edge of the hand to the mat. You're pressing up slightly through your upper back to protect your low back. You're gonna press off your knees and you're gonna hold it here. The belly button pulls in. We're doing a regular plank. So we're not adding anything fancy. You know different variations if you wanna make it more intense. But I want you to focus on form here, pulling the elbows towards the toes, pulling the belly button in. You could also be doing it from your knees if this is too much. Notice if I let my back go down like this, then it's gonna actually start to hurt the low back. So you wanna be pressing up through the shoulder blades, squeezing the bum, yes. Now let's add some appreciation to this. I want you to think about one thing you appreciate about your body. Maybe it's that your heart is beating. Maybe it's that you're able to hold this plank. Come on team, for three, for two, and one. Nice, come back, give yourself maybe a couple cat to cows just to honor your spine. Maybe congratulate yourself for doing the work, the everyday work to get fitter and stronger. Okay, we're gonna go into an earthquake now. So your shoulders are back, your chest is proud, you're in a V-sit position. Now the er earthquake, you're gonna either have your hands straight in front for a hold, or else you're gonna bring them up kind of over kind of chest level, or if for most intense version, you're gonna come right overhead. Now another option is to kind of move through them. So find you know a few spots, because what happens with the arms? is when you're moving the arms, well, it takes your, your mind off of it a little bit, which is kind of nice. It gives you a focus, but also uh, it challenges your core in a different way. Let's do it, team. Chest is proud, stomach is tight. You got this. Woo, beautiful morning, beautiful day. Come on, team. So the reason it's called earthquake, by the way, is you're supposed to start quaking through your abdominals. Now, if your back gets sore, what I recommend is taking a quick reset. I'm not a no pain, no gain kind of trainer. I believe your body always tells you what it needs. If it needs to reset so that it can come back stronger, then if you honor that, you're gonna actually have a better fitness journey than if you push through pain. Um, that's what leads to injury. Woo, come on team, you got it. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right team, we're going on to our back now. We're gonna go for a penguin. So our legs are up, our chest is lifted, our shoulders are off the mat, and we're literally reaching from right to left. Right to left, come on. Woo, reach it, reach it. Shoulders are off the mat. Now one tip I like to share is to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. That will help stabilize your neck. I am not a fan of neck pain, so stabilize that neck, give it some help. Woo, come on team. For six, reach. Five, reach a little further. Four, yes, you can. Three, I know, it's supposed to burn. Two, whew, and one. Nice, okay, we get to lay on our back now. So I want you to have a slight pelvic tilt. So there's little to no space under your back. So the opposite of like this big gap, I'm gonna tilt my pelvis so that there's no space. All right, then we're gonna put our legs up again. This time we're gonna turn our toes out, Charlie Chaplin, our feet, and we're gonna find three spots to stop on the way down. So it looks like this, three, two, one. Shh, exhale all the way back up. Okay, so now this is where your intuition, your knowledge of your own body comes in you might be going way lower than me on this one. You might be going less low than me. Ooh, you might be going one leg at a time if it's too much. Ooh, because 
if you overdo it on this type of exercise, what happens is you recruit the improper muscles. So your low back starts to work, your hip flexors start to work, and then your ab does not get its chance to do its job. So less is more when it comes to our transverse abdominus training, our lower abdominal training. Whew. A lot of mindfulness is necessary as well because you want to keep that back pressing down. Three, let's go for three more like this. Some people like to put the hands a little bit under the back and kind of squish the back into the hands as a cue. Whew, that can work really well too. It also supports you a little bit. Last one. Oh, so good. Nice. All right, team. Let's give ourselves a little belly pat. You made it through the first circuit. We're going to do it twice today, and it's totally up to you. If you want to do it another time, of course, you can repeat, repeat the video. But we're going to do it twice today. Okay, so we're back to the start. We're back to the top. We'll switch this direction. So it's a quadruped hold. So you want to have your shoulders right over your wrists. You're going to press gently up, and you're going to really lock in that belly, that core. Think about like you're gonna be punched in the belly. I want you to feel that. And then we're holding. The hold is a great option. Hold it, hold it, squeeze the bum, pull the belly button in. Yes, looking so good. I actually really enjoy this endurance aspect. This is working your foundational core. So, you know, the really deep core muscles that need to work throughout the day. If you need to take a rest, you come, to your, you come down. Um, and if you need more challenge, we're gonna do that shoulder tap, okay? You're almost there, by the way. Stay strong, yeah, yeah. We got this, we got this. The more you can tell yourself, yes, 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 I can do this for four, for three, for two, and one, nice. Go for a couple cat to cows. We're gonna go into our plank now. So plank, I like to take it back to basics. You can add some different flair to your plank, but for today we're doing the basic plank. Knife edge of the hand to the mat, pressing up through the shoulder blades, pressing off the knees, squeezing the bum, and we hold. Pull the elbows towards the toes. Squeeze that butt, pull that tummy in. Yes, I want you to imagine like you have a roll of $100 bills between your butt cheeks. You're squeezing it, you're engaging your butt, you're engaging your stomach. Even your shoulders are working, <clears throat> excuse me. Keep going. And now let's add that appreciation. Think of something else you're grateful for about your body. Maybe it's the heart for beating. Maybe it's the legs for driving you through your whole life. Maybe it's your arms because you can squeeze your kids or your grandkids and give them a hug. Three, two, and one. Nice, let's do that again, that cat to cow. Giving your back a little honoring, giving your spine a little loving. Woo, between exercises. All right, team, we're going for that earthquake again. Shoulders back, chest proud, stomach is tight, arms are straight in front, holding it here. If you wanna add that, that movement of the arms, you come up, you find about three places to stop, and you don't have to go all the way overhead. The longer the lever, the longer you move your arms back, the more challenging it is. And we do want to start quaking. Ah, yes, Pat's out here getting some early morning workout as well. Ready to come say hi. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Woo, we're getting a backyard workout, taking advantage of this short summer season that we have. Yoo-hoo! All right, team, let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna do four more together. Remember, honor yourself. If you need to take a little reset, give yourself a little hug, do it. Come on, woo, there's no wrong way to do this. Just show up and do your best. Woo, stomach is tight, last one. Find those three points if you want. Yes, so good. All right, we're going to do that penguin reach. A little bit different than we, we often do it with our feet on the ground. So today we're doing it with our legs in the air. If you prefer the feet on the ground option, go for it. So reach, reach, this is really good for the obliques the sides of your abdominals. Woo, reach, reach. Now remember, you wanna think about your chest lifting to the sky rather than your head craning forward. So chest is lifting to the sky, reach, reach, reach. Yes, we're adding some volume to our stomach core um, toning exercises by doing an extra little bonus here. Woo, throughout the week. Come on, five, each way, four, 
each way. Three, reach, reach, reach. Come on, reach a little further. Two, yes, one. Oh, so good. Give your belly a little loving. All right, final exercise, the three-stop leg lower. Today we're using Charlie Chaplin position. Our feet are turned out rather than in or straight, they're out, all right? Now you wanna do a slight pelvic tilt, which means you're gonna roll your hip bones kinda of towards your head so that there's very little to no space under your low back. Now let's do it, three, two, one. Ooh, my, my uh, core is very tired from that penguin. Come on, three, two, one. Ooh, all the way back up, use your breath. Use your out breath to bring you back to center, just to the top. Down, 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 shh, exhale all the way up. When you exhale like that, you actually engage and recruit a lot more of your core. So exhaling through slightly pursed lips, clenched teeth, helps get that core even more active. Down, two, three, shh, all the way back up, so beautiful. Toes turned out, come on team. We're almost done, our bonus core, yes. Come on, Ooh, let's do it, oh. I think we have time for two more, let's do it. Ah, it's a good one. Maybe you do challenge yourself to go a teensy bit lower. Challenge yourself, oh, so good. All right, team, give your belly a pat. Like I mentioned, if you feel up to it, go for one more round, or maybe even two, all right? And let's just stretch it out, take a big reach. Oh, let, your, let yourself feel a good stretch. Give yourself some appreciation for doing the work, doing the daily work to get stronger. It's not gonna happen overnight. However, it's never gonna happen if we don't work for it, right? So I know sometimes results can feel a little bit slow. And the, tru the truth is consistency is everything. So keep at it, amazing work, grab lots of water, and um, make sure to type mission complete so that I know you rocked it out with me. Love you, bye for now.